What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to G Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, we have an exciting unboxing to dig into coming in from Shielden. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I release new knife and EDC content every single day. Make sure you ring the bell, hit that thumbs up. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Let everyone know what you are carrying in your pockets today down there in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you are caring for the day. So thank you to Shielden for sending this in for us to take a look at. We got a couple of Shieldens to take a look at here in the future. This one is called the Herophant, I guess. Somebody down in the comments will correct me, I'm sure. Comes with a nice Velcro pouch, which I think is pretty much a standard with their knives. That's pretty much what you're going to get, which this is a, a nice quality pouch. I'm not much for belt pouches, but this is a, a fairly high quality pouch that comes with the knife that could be useful for the knife or a multi-tool or anything like that. So enough about the pouch. Let's take a look at this knife here. And if you're not familiar, which, you know, I've seen this. This is one I've seen. I've pretty much seen all their knives uh, on my travels through Amazon. Uh, and they've they've always seemed like a, a high value, a good value. This blade is nicely centered up. We're looking at some G10 here gear g10 backspacer and then we have a deep carry steel rollover clip and it is recessed along with the screws we are looking at dual thumb studs and a rear flipper tab for deployment there and we are going to be looking at 154 cm for our blade steel which is a great choice uh, in blade steel for a knife in this price range and I'll have this knife and a few other knives from Shield and that I've handled that I can easily recommend. I'll have those down in the description. Feel free to use them links. They do help out the channel. That is up to you if you want to do so. So we have a nice satin finish on the blade here. Great drop point blade shape. Nice sharpening choil there. And the thumb studs are going to be placed very well. And the detent seems to be tuned very nicely. Now, this flipper tab is nice and high above that pivot there, which should give us a nice amount of leverage. And it really does. It flips, flips very nicely. The detent's not, like, overly strong, but it seems satisfying for all the deployment methods. It's not the, – the rear flipper's not too light. The thumb and the reverse flicks on here are very nice. Uh, the reverse flick is money. And if you are wondering, I'm almost 100% sure uh, this knife is full retail, like right around 60 bucks or somewhere in that ballpark. And if my memory serves right, that is a fantastic deal for this knife. Uh, like I said at the beginning there, the, the knives that I have seen from them in what materials they come in have been exceptional. I just have not had the chance to handle uh, any Shieldens. The first time I handled a Shielden was this year, like two months ago, uh, and that was the, uh, the Sith, and then I handled the Sith XL, and then just now I'm handling some other uh, Shielden. So pretty excited to check out a new brand and new knives, uh, certainly to the channel. Now this is going to carry nice and deep. There'll be a little bit poking out there. That'll be a nice spot though to grab a hold of the knife and pull it out of the pocket. Now keep in mind, this is going to be right hand only. There's no tooling for lefty here. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is a clean looking knife. You got one body screw and then your pivot is, it's solid. It's captive and it's just their logo. Uh, I, I like this. I like this quite a bit. That full choil in there. It's a nice sharpening choil from what I know. 
and you have a good spot there to choke up behind that edge, get a lot of control over that blade, and you'll also be able to use that choil area for precise detailed cuts with that tip. Speaking of that tip and that edge, let's see what we got here. And I got to say, the last Shielden we checked out was also in 154. It was, it's an impressive knife. I will have that link down below. It came razor sharp, and I mean razor sharp. And it looks like this is going to be the same way. If you've been around, you've seen me cut this telephone book paper hundreds and hundreds of times uh some of you and look at this thing just glide right through it i've seen knives that have decent edges struggle with this stuff and look at this that's beautiful right there this one will stick out in my mind for sure uh that's got a screaming good edge on it right there that is whoo baby the action's good yeah 60 bucks definitely right here i mean that blade shape is perfection for edc day-to-day -day stuff almost anything you could get into a nice drop point like this it's got a nice ergonomic handle you know, it's kind of got that uh, almost keeping you in a cutting motion like. It's got that nice angle to it. It's going to fit in the hand good. Medium, large, XL hands. Uh, I wear an XL glove, and I have plenty of room on this handle here, especially with that choil. Even without, I still can get you know, full grip on that handle. If you need a lot of reach or you need to get something that's down in there, you can have a little bit of added reach the way this is designed. So, yeah, I I'm really digging this thing, especially around 60 bucks. This is, this is getting into outstanding uh, value, you know, for the money right here. Top tier stuff. You know, I and I, I just don't see much on shielding, you know. Um, you really don't. Now, I don't know that they're – I think, you know, they are putting out new models or what they're working on putting out new models. And I'm not saying they're, you know, dropping stuff every month or something like that. But they got models out there, and they got some stuff that has recently come out. And, and you just don't see a lot on them. Um and it makes me, you know, it makes me wonder why. This thing is really solid. We do have fairly early lockup there. Not necessarily a cause for concern. We have a chamfer on that liner and plenty good access there. Liners are recessed. Clean looking knife. There's no detent lash. There's no pivot lashing, a soft open. There's no up and down play. And I can flex the entire blade, but there's no movement in here. You know, I can kind of flex the blade in the handle, but there's no movement in there around the pivot, which is exactly what we are looking for. So let's see what we got here. If this holds up through this i am going to be extremely happy about this knife and wonder why it hasn't gotten its praises uh you know like we talk about fairly often a lot of times it's keeping things in perspective and this is a a 60 dollar knife and keep in mind there are much more expensive knives uh, like small production knives, there's cut, uh, custom, semi-custom, and custom knives that come in 154 cm. It's used in a wide range from 60, 70 bucks, like you see here, 
all the way up to, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars and and some more. Um, so we're getting a fine, fine steal here for anyone who's not familiar. We're getting G10. That's nice, nicely finished. Uh, everything's softened and chamfered over. This thing's comfortable. The pocket clip, it works good. I mean, you know, it works. It's thin. It's, you know, it's going to do the job. Uh, that's probably, and that's not even anything I would, you know, if I could nitpick this thing to death, that's maybe something, but it's clean. There's nothing on it. It's simple. It works. You know, it dies off there nicely, so it's not going to be digging into your hand. It, it works, so it's not even like I can sit, nitpick that. It works really good, and it looks clean. So it's... I'm trying to think here what... What can I nitpick on this knife? We got three and a quarter of cutting edge there, which is nice. Three and a half inches total. And then, yeah, this is coming down just shy of being a full-size knife. We're at like seven and seven eighths. So this is hitting on that full-size range. You know, I would consider this a, a full-size knife. Sorry about the fingerprints. That's what you get with a satin blade and what we are doing here try to keep it cleaned off for you uh but yeah i just i don't know maybe this did get praise and i just haven't seen it you know i'm sure there's some videos out there on this possibly um but i haven't seen anything on it Yeah, it's clean. All they got is 154 cm on the show side there. It's it's not heavy. I'm going to guess maybe like 3.5. Maybe a little bit over that. Maybe like 3.4 or something. Or, I'm sorry, 3 and a 3 quarter. Okay, so like four ounces, 4.1. I mean, it's not overly heavy. That's an average, you know, that's an average weight. Anything under three ounces is nothing. So this being around four, it's not a heavy knife, especially for its size. Coming in at almost eight inches, you have the recessed steel liners there. Yeah, I like this thing right here. I'll have it linked down below. It is called the Herophant, I believe. You'll have to let me know what you think of this knife here. And let me know if you have any experience with Shieldon's knives. Love to hear from you guys, no matter what it is. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that, everyone. If you're new here, I release knife and EDC content every single day. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. Love to have you here. I'll put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.